Good morning dear students welcome to science i'm miss kumuth and today i'm going to start with a new lesson but let us know which is the lesson we are going to study the lesson name is current electricity and magnetism now students last year you have learnt something about atom okay do you remember which constituents are present in an atom yes you're right there is uh, in an atom there are shells and inside the atom there is something called as nucleus in that nucleus there are stationary positive charges as well as some of the neutral charges whereas around in an atom uh, in the orbits or in the shells there are moving electrons or also called as negative charges so with this short uh, introduction let us begin with this lesson you know our body as well as the different things are made up of charges all objects in the surroundings and even human bodies made up of charges all substances are made up of very tiny particles this you have studied in standard 5 that all the objects are made up of very tiny particles electric charge is an intrinsic property of this particles what does this mean that means there are certain charges electric charges within each object so in it that is why it is called as intrinsic property now the electric charge abundantly present on this particle is always in a hidden state that means we are unable to uh, notice these electric charges because they are neutral neutral in the sense there are two different types of electric charges they are positive charges and negative charges since this positive and negative charges are balanced they are called an uh, object as a whole is neutral benjamin franklin was the renowned scientist who said that there are positive and negative charges when the positive and negative charges are balanced the object is said to be neutral i just want to say it again that when the positive and the negative charges are balanced in the object the object is said to be neutral that means to be charged there has to be imbalance correct there has to be imbalance in the uh, number of charges then only the object will be called as charged let us see ahead so no net charge is there when the electric charges are balanced now if the charges on an object are not balanced then the object is said to be charged that means there might be either more of positive charges or maybe more of negative charges so all the objects are electrically neutral these all objects are made up of particles and these particles are again made up of very small uh, sized or tiny particles called as atoms now an atom consists of the stationary positive charge and the moving negative charges which are called as also electrons fine now therefore since the uh, positive and the negative charges are balanced in an atom an atom is said to be electrically neutral now all these objects which you see over here are electrically neutral Th then why are they said to be charged or how do objects become electrically charged hmm it's because if there is imbalance or balance of electrically neutral atoms get disturbed then the objects become charged like for example if we rub a uh, rod against the woolen cloth you will find that the one which is rubbing becomes the negatively charged or the negative charges are flowing from the one which is getting rubbed fine whereas the one uh, which has been rubbed becomes positively charged so uh to positively charged woolen cloth fine so this way there is transfer of the charges of the two objects being rubbed one becomes positively charged and the other becomes negatively charged this way the charges are transferred now let us see how these charges are flowing from one place to another now consider an example here 
Now you might have seen the water flow right along the hillside or maybe the streams or rivers how they are flowing. They always flow from a region of higher level to a region of lower level. So when they flow from high level to low level uh, continuously we say that there is a current of water right so same way in this way the water flows and so current of water is available to us in the similar manner even the electrical charges can be made to move by applying some force so then there will be current of charges and when there is these electrical charges are moving uh, with regard or because of the uh, because of these charges when they are moving we say that there is electric current or the flow of charges due to electric current so next time we are in the next video we will learn about what is current electricity so in this video you have already learned now that uh, 